but one really big downside of this bow, and I really have to tell you now, before you order this bow, you don't want to stop shooting. Good morning, dear string fellows, dear archers. Look what came. The Korean war bow by Lukas Schnarrani. I was when I saw the post that he built a Korean bow, one of the first who ordered it, and then finally he managed to make me one. And you know what? I don't have time for that today. First of all, look at this nice packaging. You get the nice sleeve from Lukas Navalny. Now it's Navalny Bows 20, 2005. That's awesome. And then a little bubble wrap. Then you get here information. It's the Korean War Bow, an early Joseon period from 1392 to 1550. And then there's a lot of things written in Korean which I can't read, but there are a few depictions of a Korean bow, how it looked like. And then what you get and what I like is here a draw curve, it gives you an extra point, because it means I don't even have to measure all the draw stuff. And we have draw length 32 inches, arrow weight 400 grain, mine a little more lighter, 460 and 340, we see what we get. And you get, of course, the warranty card and extra string pads, at least one. Yeah, one. Just in case you lose one of these small string pads, put them back. Warranty card, Korean Wobber, 55 pounds at 31, max 32, minimum gram per pound, 8. Recommended 9 to 10 gram per pound. Then you know everything you have to know. Do this. So, what else do we get? First of all, the bow. With a string, obviously. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Wow. Handle looks awesome. Ray skin arrow pass, I like. And it's not too wide. Goes a little. Look at these curves. And then with the horn, with, with the fake horn on the belly. Wow, look at this curve. Nice sears. You have here the small string pads. And then we have birch bark on the back. Nice wrap there. 55 pounds at 31. Holy moly. And there's something else. In Christmas. Oh, holy mug. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I go in a museum. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> that's that's box. That's a box. Let's see what it does. So I guess, I look at this, it fits perfectly. So I wanted to use my thumb glove, but now I use this one, obviously. From Navalny bows, the Korean bow, a Korean war bow, obviously. It's Korean, it's a synthetic monolith. But we know we had this already, this monolith building. So there's here synthetic materials and only a little wood in the sears and maybe in the handle. Unstrung knock to knock. This bow is 53 inches. Other dimensions I didn't find. Max draw 32 to 33 and 31 higher than 80 pounds. 
As I recommended, error weight is 9 to 10, but the minimum is 8. And this is the Chosian Warbow design. That means the sears are a little longer than in normal Korean bows. Has a very aggressive, <laughs> you can see that, uh, profile. Almost all layers of this bow are tapered. So he really put a lot, but we had this once with the Saracen, you know, layer tapers and stuff like this. The belly laminate tapered and convex shape. So the belly laminate is tapered and has a convex shape and looks awesome. And we have a tilted belly that is grinded for proper bend of the limbs. Okay, we will see. Nice. Then the price of this pretty bow is the base is 550 euros. And you can have the horn effect belly 50 euros, you can have the birch bark which is 50 euros and you can have a stabilization in the grip which would be 50 euros. You can express order and then you have this bow in six weeks. So in this version like here, I don't know if another stabilization grip is in it, the bow is, would be 700 euros. <laughs> Already fully worth it. Let's check if his knock to knock is so right. And there's nothing written of price side, but we simply go with what we have then. Da -da -da -da, such a pretty bow. Yeah, with this one, 53 and a half. Arrow pass. Twenty-five millimeters. It's okay for a Korean bow. Look at this. Wow. So now I drop the string because I'm so excited. Let's see what we got. This is the long one. Let's see how easy this beast is to string. Such a wow. Guess I can sell all my other Korean bows now. <laughs> Let's see. Easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's you know this is a Korean bow which goes stylistically a little towards a Tatar bow, and this is just would be for me the perfect design. Bow is straight. Bow is here quite flexible. In this direction, not flexible. Nice center serving we have here. Six and a half. Nice. It's a little more than many of these Korean ones. Me like it. 390. Uh, 425. But it's fine. This all out of the way. Look at this bow. Lays in your hand. And the handle. It's just. <laughs> Just fine. God, I'm excited. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. <laughs> There's no end with the draw. That's, oh, my shoulder hurts. That's insane. So let's see how this would work with this incredible thumb ring here. Didn't do thumb ring for a while, huh? Getting used to it. Ah, oh, my shoulder. This arrow is 32 inches. And I have to say, feathers are coming off here. We could improve this DNDM. full draw and uh, until I get used to this one holy moly if you're looking for a Korean bow a Korean war bow which looks simply well wow. wow. 
don't know which pound it is, but it's simply as glucose. So it takes a while until you get used to this thumbring. Yeah, of course they go through <laughs> my, this shooting experience, my friends, alone. These were 460 grain, they are 340 grain. Let's see what these ones do. They almost will be too light to it, huh? I think so. We shoot one then and we see. Oh, yeah, this is like dry firing. So, these ones we don't shoot. Then we have these banana ones. They are 600 spine and 460. A bit longer. Handle, oh my god, they go everywhere, these arrows. Handle feels great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And these are the same, I mean, 500 spine and the 440. Right. So, thumb ring. We still need a few shots that we get used to each other. But the bow draws. I think this is how bow should feel. Rated 30 meters away. Oh, a second, I wanted to try the a thumb glove. Okay. Handle is just awesome. <coughs> so 460. Oh, they go through like nothing. It's just this bow is awesome. We don't need obviously the poundage because we have already. And see, and then the beneficial thing of this bow with this aggressive design is 28, we are still not there. 30. There, see? A little more, so 20, 29 maybe. 29 inches, we have our string angle. It's quite stiff, and then you have here this sharp edge, and then it comes out there. Wow. And it goes more, so it's not that we would have some stacking or something at 32. <laughs> look at this bow. Nice, look at these sears. Pretty. Small string pad there. The birch. You should get it with birch and with fake horn. Look at this, it's 100 euros more. It's just worth it. Nice wrapping, and then you have here this ray skin, shark skin, whatever. Leather handle looks really nice with, you know, almost seamless here, and feels just fine. Incredible bow. Wow. Would almost say already, this is my favorite Korean bow. What I like is that the brace is six and a half inches and not five and a half, like with the other Korean bows. Awesome. 
199. There's no draw. <laughs> Poor. Poor shoulders. <laughs> so, a little side down cutter is fine, but don't apply torque. So, this boat doesn't like torque. Just like this. I mean, this is usually how I shoot anyway, so. A little string twist, it's fine, and a little cutter. Awesome. You don't want to stop shooting this bow. I shoot now without thundering and ever, whatever. To see what it does. <laughs> if it's still good. Ah, it's enter shot. This, you don't want to stop shooting this bow. Oh, bit string twists in the shot again. So now I know what this bow is doing. Yeah, that was bad shot. I know the last time somebody mentioned I have this floating anchor in my face. I know. It's bad shooting style. Nice. It's really, you don't want to stop shooting this bow. So if you can live with this, that you don't want to put this bow out of your hand, order directly one, really, uh, and get this express shipping six weeks and you have it. <laughs> Little vibration. Then my wrist is not as relaxed, but the release is more crisp, obviously. But doesn't help, we still shoot center shots. Oh, yeah. I feel like this guy in War of Arrows now. The string twist works fine. Don't overdo it. this be a bow for horseback with this handle if you want to shoot your you know your common kashai style I would say definitely look and even 28 inches this bow performs awesome The other way around, how was it? Like this. This handle is great. Look, no problem. Now I ruined the target again. Aye, aye, aye. But I still don't like to have this here in my hand, but you can do it. And when you see, the arrows would be away enough from the limbs so they don't touch or interact or something, interfere with the limbs. <laughs> you feel this as a war bow. There you have it, an insane bow. 
quality wise, look wise, the knowledge which is built in, the materials. So this one I would have no problem shooting humidity and hot weather and something. The only really minor thing is that with torque, that my torque didn't work. So for this, the design is a little too aggressive, so it's not a bow for a lot of torque. But side down katra, down katra is working, so that's not a big deal. The bow is still straight, so this is no problem. And then there's nothing. <laughs> Until I'm there, it's gone. One. So, and even in the handle, you feel this moment, of course you feel it, and then it's done, but it's nothing, 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 nothing. So, you get bow, string, sleeve, documentation, and yeah, eight points. The handling, this bow, even with these uh, extreme design was very easy to string so maybe not for a complete beginner but I think you don't start with a 550 euro bow so you have already a little idea of how to string a bow and then it's not a problem so you simply make sure that you hold the limb that it doesn't flip in your hand because you have to slightly uh, bend in the opposite direction but then here you see the bow is quite flexible for the build uh, for, for, for the handling the bow is easy to string, doesn't wiggle too much, especially in this direction, because of the string pads, huh? if they wouldn't be there. So here you have a little movement, So, but it's, it's a pro bow, it's not a noob bow. Ten. The build is exceptionally beautiful nice made everything on this bow feels like like even it was in this in this old times you know there's nothing that really looks like it went through a time machine and ended up here now this is such a wow so i have nothing it's simply just beautiful so the basic feel of this bow the handle is is just the perfect handle here this is here dampened a little so this is some cork dampens here it rests really nice in your hand and then whatever even your you can hold it in your Korean way whatever you want to do this handle feels awesome so there is you have fully control over this bow only I said don't apply too much torque for the rest, this is just how I would like a boat to be. That's why basic field 10. Draw experience. <sighs> I mean, you see the draw curve. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And you feel it. So after 33, it gets stiff, but until then, it's, and it's 61 pounds, and you don't feel it. <laughs> so, draw experience is exceptional. Again. And shooting experience doesn't take long that you get used to it so the arrow pass is not as wide as we have it sometimes with some Korean bows scratch it now already a little uh, here this you have a slide in the beginning you had you felt it a little more but even with 460 grain which is then I don't know grain per pound it's just fine so but stick with the recommendation 9 to 10 grain so these arrows were then a little too lightweight for that and then you don't have this, but even with these arrows, it was just fine. There was nothing to complain. This one feels so much nicer with Katra. So with Torque, this boat didn't feel like... That's why I give it 10. Then we're at 58. And price value, 550 euros. Plus 50, plus 50, and plus if the handle is there, 50. The stabilization get it fully equipped. This is just a beauty. 
it's just a beautiful bow and <laughs> yeah it, I will shoot it a bit more but I'm almost convinced that this could be my only Korean bow I like the more brace side a lot the others are five and a half inches or something this one inch makes for me a massive difference and I like the little more longer sears makes it a little more look like a Tatar almost and no problem with that handle is just fine like a Korean not too bulky not too thin just fine and what you get for the price I mean look at a KTP2 or a YMG you're almost in the same ballpark and shall I do a comparison with the KTP2 YMG and this one okay I might do that but yeah there you have it so it gets five for the price performance it's just not so weakly so other Korean bows are more weakly it's just a beauty so Lucas impressed thank you very much for sending this bow to me finally I have it when I saw that he is building a Korean war by the wreck want I want I want now I have it took a while so it had to do had to go through a few refining uh, production uh, measure things refining actions I don't know that you got everything settled now that it works properly but now I think he is there and the bow is where it's supposed to be beautiful bow thank you Lucas thank you everybody for watching subscribing commenting all the stuff catch you in the next one Thank you.